news traveled very, very slowly in the 18th and early 19th century because it basically could only travel as fast as a man could move. For instance, the Battle of Lexington and Concord took place on April 19th. It was April 22nd before the news reached New York. It was April 28th before it reached Virginia. And it was in late May before it reached the horrified London. And so the world worked very, very slowly in those days. And people understood that the, if you could communicate faster than the other person could, that there was money to be made. Nathan Rothschild famously had carrier pigeons at the Battle of Waterloo, and they brought him the news of the outcome of the battle before the British government knew what the outcome of the battle was. A lot of people were working on the idea of the telegraph. It wasn't just Samuel Morse. What Samuel Morse did was he put all the ideas together and came up with the first practical system. Morse's great contribution was the Morse code which was just a marvelously efficient means of using the telegraph. And he invented that himself. But he finally got the government to put up some money and they ran a telegraph line between Baltimore and the Capitol building in Washington. And Morse sat there in the telegraph building and tapped out what hath God wrought. And his partner in Baltimore tapped it back. And that proved the telegraph and it was a practical system and it spread like wildfire.